Hey how's everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I am going to take this jacket off because it's really fucking warm. Hey how's everyone, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see by the title of today's video, I am being a little DIY, a little DIY guru, a little Alicia Marie, Bethany Motor type of bitch, you know. As you can see by the title of this video, I am going to be bleaching some jeans. Aww. The other day I was aimlessly scrolling through TikTok and I came across a video of a girl bleaching Louis Vuitton logos onto her jeans and it looks so fucking cool. I can't find the TikTok. I tried to find it before starting this video so I could show you it. But I can't find it anymore. I don't know if she's removed it or if I just literally can't find it. I thought I liked it but I've gone through my likes and I can't seem to see it. If you've seen the TikTok you know which one I mean. This really cool girl puts bleach on her jeans in the shape of a Louis Vuitton logo and it actually turns out really really well. This is not a tutorial by all means. This is is more me getting pissed off at myself for not being creative enough to put bleach on denim and let it sit there. So without further ado, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, smash a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and just wish me luck in all honesty. Hi. I really don't know how this is gonna go, you know. I have nothing prepared. In fact, I do have things prepared. I ordered these off ASOS. Just some lovely denim jeans, you know. Very, very nice. And I also have a little workstation set up behind me. So, I dismantled my desk. And here we have this because obviously... We cannot bleach onto the carpet, especially when this is not our house. If it's your mum's house, don't bleach your mum's carpets because my mum would absolutely murder me. So, I have my little station set up. I don't really know how I'm gonna go about filming this. I need to get some bleach. I don't know how I'm gonna create the stencils, actually. Maybe we should do that first. We should definitely do that first, right? Let's just go figure this shit out. This is for Rachel, you big fan. Right, this is the current situation. We've got my little board or my little workstation, as I said, with my jeans on. We have a Cocoa Pops box, some scissors and a pencil. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit here and cut this up and create stencils for where I'm going to put the bleach because I figured I can't just freehand these logos on. I've got to start somewhere. So what I'm going to do is Google the Louis Vuitton logo, draw it on these or on the inside of this and then draw a different one on the outside of this and just you know try and make it work i don't know how this is gonna go six and a half hours later right after countless attempts this is what we finally got i think it's really shit it is shit like now i'm looking at it, this entire bottom bit is wrong so i'm gonna redo it let's try again right i think that's as best as we're gonna get it i now need to oh my god i've just realized i've got to cut the inside bit out and not the outside how am i gonna do how how do I fuck it? I've also just realized that there are more than just the little L and the V. There's the circle thing and then the little pointy thing and I've got to do all that. I should have planned this a little bit better, I'm not going to lie. After a long fucking time, I've been sat here doing this for so long now, my back is killing. I finally have the stencil things and I just realized this is not really going to work too well because this is going to keep lifting it up when I try and do the little bleach inside there. So I don't really know what I'm going to do and I know there's another little pointy shape type thing for Louis Vuitton. But I really can't be fucking arsed. My back is killing. Like, look at that back killing i'm in pain right now and people say youtubers jobs are easy a few moments later right this is my plan to like put the bleach in there then the bleach in there you know all that fun stuff and then switch it up throughout and if i want to go back afterwards and add a tiny little whatever it is that it has on it then i'll do that but right now i'm gonna get the bleach and we're gonna get started <laughs> This is really not going how I expected it to go, not gonna lie. I'm really fucking hating this right now. Um, the stencil just didn't work. I accidentally poured bleach too much onto the actual jeans and then it just bled and now the Louis Vuitton logo is like a bleh. That's an issue. I don't know what to do. The bleach is not strong enough. Like I've put bleach on things before and like I bleached like a black hoodie. I've only ever really bleached black things is what I've realized and not denim. So the black just literally turns white instantly. Whereas this is not really doing that. So it's really hard to like navigate where I've already put the bleach and also the legs of these jeans have already been bleached I've now realized uh, which is making it a little bit difficult I am not having a great time Alright, 
right, so it's been a few days since I've actually picked up my camera for this video. I didn't actually think about how long it would take for the bleach to set into the jeans, then to wash the jeans, then to dry the jeans, and then here we are now. It's like two days later. Hi everyone, I hope you're all good. Uh, I look a mess, so just ignore my current appearance right now. I literally have just jumped out of bed. I'm like, oh my god, I need to film the end of this video. Because I've not even filmed it, not even tried the jeans on. I went to make my breakfast in the kitchen just now, and I saw the jeans on the table drying, and I'm like, oh, I did that. So I'm going to show you what the jeans look like, and I also, I'm going to talk you through my advice if you're going to do this, because I learned a lot whilst doing it. So I'm going to pop you up on a tripod, and we're going to try the jeans on. First reaction, let's catch it on camera. I popped you in front of my mirror. I'm going to um, get changed into the jeans now, and I'm going to get my reaction. I'm literally standing in front of my mirror right now. So if I look over to this side, I'm not talking to the wall. Three, two, one. <laughs> Let's just say they look so much cooler on the girl on TikTok than me. Oh, I'm kind of annoyed that I've ruined a perfectly good pair of jeans, not gonna lie. That's my main thought process right now. Um... I mean, you can tell they're Louis Vuitton, but they look like the most bootleg, awful Louis Vuitton thing in the world. They don't even look like a good DIY Louis Vuitton, they literally just look like... Oh, this bitch is trying. As you can see, this one definitely did fuck up. That's the one that I did and poured a lot of bleach on it and I accidentally messed it up. The rest of them actually turned out pretty all right. I did end up just like freehanding the last ones just because the stencils got super soggy and wet and didn't really work. I think for a first attempt, they aren't awful, but I really wouldn't wear them. I can't see myself that wearing an outfit and being like, then again, when I'm looking at it in the mirror now, kind of is cool. I mean, if I put a big coat on, I'd probably think this were really cool. Let me get a big coat and we'll see. Right, I've put a big coat on and some shoes that I would wear with this and you know what I don't actually hate them I don't think I'd wear them and I'm also now just realizing I probably wouldn't wear Louis Vuitton jeans and Balenciaga shoes however I think it kind of looks cool like this is not an outfit that I hate I might take an Instagram photo in it like this is kind of fun you know who knows maybe I'll take an Instagram photo in this I don't know if I'll actually wear these but it were a fun little experiment I kind of like them I kind of wish I painted them white instead like I kind of wish instead of bleach I got like fabric paint and painted it on I'm not sure let me know what you think about them in the comments I mean for a little fun DIY Bethany Motor better watch her back speaking of Bethany Motor where the fuck is she and what is she doing I haven't heard about that bitch in such a long time Ta-da! And there we have it, they are the jeans that I created. I hope you guys liked this video. I don't think it was any more informative. I said I were gonna talk through. Here we are, this is the informative part. So, if you're thinking of doing this, make stencils out of something that isn't cardboard because cardboard, when put bleach on it, over and over again, is gonna get soggy and damp and it's just not gonna keep its shape. Also, try to get something that sticks to the material so it doesn't let the liquid seep under. As you'll see by the first Louis Vuitton logo that I did, the bleach seeped under the cardboard and didn't really stick to the stencil. I'm sure there's actual stencils out there for things like this, especially Louis Vuitton monogram print ones, but I thought I'd DIY this thing and make it myself. I also recommend maybe trying to just freehand it. But I found it easier to do it without the stencil just so I could see the like lines of it all and where the bleach had actually sat. And also do remember, it does take a while for the bleach to sit into it. When starting this video, I didn't think I added enough, but I added probably too much and that's probably why it went yellow. I don't know what other tips to to give. Don't ruin a perfectly good pair of jeans as we've realised in this video. In all honesty, I don't hate them. Like, I think I achieved what I wanted to achieve. I just feel like these aren't me. They aren't something I typically wear. I think even if Louis Vuitton did release these exact jeans, I probably wouldn't buy them. One, because I can't afford them, but also two, because it's just not my style. I feel like these are a bit cheesy. A bit cheesy. Is that the right word to say? They're just not me. I, I prefer a more clean, cut looking thing. However, I'm kind of proud of myself, you know. I have to be bougie on a budget. She really came through. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to stop rambling on. Let me know what you thought in the comment section below. I love you all lots. And if you want to see more DIY videos, I, I don't think I can title this a DIY video. I don't think I should label it that because that gives a level of like expertise to be like, I DIY'd this shit. I'm more DI tried. If you want any more DI tried videos, then give this video a thumbs up. I love you all lots and I'll see you soon with a brand new video. Bye. That was so like Zoella 2014.